All right, we should now be live. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, tuning in to the closing ceremonies for the Noah K. Anthony Green and Gold Invitational. Um, before we get into the stuff that I know that you're all here for, there are just a couple things I, I need to walk through first. So um, first, thank you to everyone, if you're watching, who judged this tournament, everyone who recruited judges for this tournament or found judges. Um, as you know, we really can't do these without judges. And we were lucky enough this tournament that almost every round would had three judges. So you had a presiding judge and then two separate scoring judges, um, which is a testament to how hard everyone worked in getting and recruiting judges for this tournament. Also, thank you so much to all of the teams and the coaches um, for attending and being flexible with us as we navigate this brand new Zoom tournament setup. Um, we just really appreciate the patience. We know some of the rounds had issues. They started late. There were technology issues. Um, we're just so thankful that you you bared with us as we worked through those. And we hope you were able to have a, a great, enjoyable experience at the competition, even with some of those issues. Uh, another people I want to thank are all the people um, at Baylor who set it up, specifically our tournament chairs from Baylor, uh, Krishna and Rachel. You did a great job getting us to this point. Um, and so thank you so much for all of what you did to get us to this point, um, as well as everyone who volunteered. I know I had a couple of the Baylor students who were helping out getting the round started. Finally, the last person that I really need to thank um, is most of you saw me all weekend. Um, what you didn't know is right to my side, I had my lovely fiance, Caitlin, who was helping me do all of the tabulation, um, had her own set of tab cards and really um, is the reason that I stay sane through these <laughs> tournaments. So I um, have to thank her for everything she does. All right, a couple of logistical things. If you win an attorney award or a witness award at this competition, um, we will be letting you know um, the process uh, to get that award to actually send you a, a physical award. Um, it'll likely be that you should send your name and your address to uh, the people from Baylor who've been getting you the information. Please don't send it to me. Um, if you send it to me, it will likely get lost in my inbox. So send it to either Krishna or Rachel, um, whoever you've been corresponding with at Baylor, and they will make sure that the, uh, the award gets to you. All right, I think that is the logistical things that I needed to go over. So now we will start with our individual awards, and we're going to start with the Outstanding Attorney Awards. It took 18 ranks to win an Outstanding Attorney Award at this Invitational. Our first outstanding attorney representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo with 18 ranks on the plaintiff from team 1248 Wake Forest University, Abigail Frankie. Our next outstanding attorney also representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo from team 1963 Kennesaw State University B, Tyler Orndorff. Moving on to our next Outstanding attorney, also representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo, from team 1027, Baylor University A, Lauren Peterson. Our next outstanding attorney was on the defense, representing Harper Martini and Peony Estates. From team 1911, Southern Methodist University, we have Nicholas Tichenor. And then our final 18 rank attorney representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo from team 1604, the University of Oklahoma B, Savannah Patterson. Moving on to our 19 rank attorneys, representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo from team 1603, University of Oklahoma A, Faith Blank. Our next outstanding attorney, also representing the estate of Genesis Petrillo from team 1016, the University of Texas C, Caden Cameron. And then our final outstanding attorney, also with 19 ranks, representing Harper Martini and Peony Estates, from team 1016, University of Texas C, Dominique Williams. So congratulations to all of our outstanding attorneys um, from the competition. We will now move on and we will do our outstanding witness awards. It took 16 ranks to win an Outstanding Witness Award at this Invitational. 
Our first outstanding witness with 16 ranks on the plaintiff from team 1011, Texas A&M University A, Paola Roos. Our next 16 rank attorney on the defense from team 1014, University of Texas A, Fabiola Valentin Perez. Our next 16 rank witness was also on the plaintiff from team 1016, the University of Texas C, Madavi Subramanian. Moving on, our next outstanding witness, also with 16 ranks, also on the plaintiff, from team 1014, University of Texas A, Gage Jones. Our next outstanding witness, also with 16 ranks, also on the plaintiff, from team 1845, Baylor University C, Matthew Schreiner. Moving on to our 17 rank witnesses with 17 ranks on the plaintiff from team 1603, University of Oklahoma A, Mahawk Merchant. Our next 17 rank witness was on the defense from team 1012, Texas A&M University B, Letty Morris. Our final 17 rank witness was on the plaintiff from team 1895, University of Texas at Arlington B, Razuin Elzadig. Finally, we had one witness at this invitational who, out, who achieved a perfect 20 ranks. On the defense from team 1015, University of Texas B, Alexander Jimenez. Congratulations to all of our Outstanding Witness Award winners at this Invitational. All right, we're going to move on and move on to our Outstanding Trial Teams. We have uh, three top teams who will be receiving awards, but we did want to recognize two teams uh, who will receive honorable mentions um, because they had outstanding scores and were just short of the top three. So our first honorable mention with a record of five and a half wins a CS of 15 and a half and a PD of five is team 1027 Baylor University A. Our second honorable mention, also with five and a half wins with a CS of 22 and a half and a PD of plus 21, team 1123, University of California, Berkeley. So congratulations to our honorable mentions. All right, moving on to our outstanding trial teams. In third place, with a record of six wins, a CS of 19, and a point differential of plus 58, Team 1014, University of Texas A. In second place, with six and a half wins, a CS of 15 and a half, and a point differential of plus 46, we have Team 1603, University of Oklahoma A. And then finally, taking first place, the winner of this year's Noah K. Anthony Green and Gold Invitational with a perfect record of eight wins, a CS of 17, and a point differential of plus 72. Congratulations to Team 1016, the University of Texas C. Thank you so much, everyone, for competing at this Invitational. We truly hope that we'll be able to see all of you back at Baylor Law School next year. Um, and so we hope that everyone is able to enjoy their upcoming Thanksgiving, that everyone stays safe and good luck